What's going on guys? I am back. It's Sunday and we're out of Europe. After we signed that uh, impressive impressive player Vatlig. Nothing worked, man. We tried um, we tried to get results in Europe with the new tactic and it didn't work out. Uh, more updates upcoming right now uh, in the league. We're doing a little better. I hope everyone is well. Betsmore, thank you for joining, man. Let's dig in. All right, so first let's go to the schedule and let's see what happened since uh, yesterday. Um, I believe the last game we played was, um, I think the loss against Chelsea? No. No, Oxair. We won against Oxair 2-1. We lost against Chelsea, guys, in Champions League 3-0. It was an expected loss, to be honest. After that, we lost 6-1. I mean, we won 6-1 in the league. We lost in Champions League because we couldn't register uh, the new players, the new transfers from the winter uh, transfer window. V uh, Vlatnik, we couldn't register him. Uh, we only register him right after when we qualify to the next round. Um, and we qualify to the knockout playoff, not straight to the knockout rounds because we lost again in Champions League, 5-3 at home in the last game against Villarreal. So two really bad results in Champions League. 
which makes me believe that this tactic uh, is not working. Yeah, I stopped right before before the Oxair match. Okay, then we won against uh, Oxair away. So yeah, thank you for reminding me, Besmer. Um, uh, <laughs> my memory is bad, but I played a lot. I played I played today, this morning. I played last night. So we advanced. We got knocked out, guys, by uh, by Dortmund in the knockout playoff, pretty much. In the league, we uh, beat Strasbourg uh, along the way. We advanced in the Cup de France. Uh, we just beat uh, Paris Saint-Germain. And we are in the semifinals. We beat Saint-Etienne in the league. 3 0 uh, tied with the backups. Also in the league, 1 1 at Annecy. Because I had to put um, the second team to rest the starters for the Champions League uh, clash against Dortmund. Yeah, I could not reg register in time. Uh, I mean,. In time, I could not register for the last two games that we had uh, in the in the league phase, Chelsea and Villarreal. Because you know, in the in the beginning of the season, you register um, whatever players you have, and then after the transfer window in the winter, you can they give you the option if you qualify further in Champions League, they give you the option to register again. So, you know, we 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 registered um, Vlatnik just for Dortmund uh, clash. But even with Vlatnik, guys, we lost. We lost uh, one nothing away. After we dominated the game, though, we dominated the game. We we still lost. Uh, they scored late in the 81st minute. Morgan Shefford, their striker, and then at home, uh, I was expecting to to win easily against Dortmund with the team that we have. Nope, we lost three two. Struggled to get possession. They dominated us, and uh, that was the last game that I played with uh, with that tactic. We gave up on it, guys, and now we're going back to uh, the very first tactic that we used uh, when I took over Bordeaux, which is the four-two-three-one, which in Europe tested. I tested it with Gilles Petrosciani before, and it's working in Europe. In Europe, we actually went really, really far with it. Uh, you too, Batsmurf, you had it with your um, with your city and you won the Champions League. So I guess, you know, it's um, it's better to use this one because we have a better chance to go further in Europe. In the league, we're good enough to, to win the, the, the championship every season. So I'm not bothered too much about Liga anymore. Uh, we played before Dortmund games. Let's Let's see here. Uh, bah, 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 where is it? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six games before Dortmund. Oh, the new guy. Yeah, the new guy, he played, uh, let me see here. Against Oxer. Vlatnik. Yeah, he played one. Uh, he didn't play against Chelsea. He played against Lorient. Vlatnik. 7.1 rating he played uh, against Montpellier 6.9 uh, he didn't play against Strasbourg I think yeah I played the, the B team so yeah like three games three games so right now uh, we are back with the 4-2-3-1 tactic like I said um, we just beat Paris Saint-Germain in the cup and we are advancing to the uh, semi-finals and the next game that we're gonna play is the clash in the league against Marseille away in the league we're not doing well also because we had to play so many games with the B team just to protect the starters for Champions League so now we're six points behind Nice it's a rough season even though we improved the team so much, it's really a rough season. And another announcement on transfer market, guys. We were able to loan with the money left from the um, from the Vlatnik uh, deal. We had some, like I think, ten million left in the wages after after that deal went on. We got Spremo on loan from Manchester City for six months. Yeah, the tactic works works in France. But not in Europe, not in Champions League, Bessmurf. 
we, we tested out for two years and both years we got uh, we we got out from champions league really early we didn't even got to the first knockout round so that's uh, very disappointing it's good for the league for the you know championship but not not in europe and if i remember well with uh gio petrosani with the tactic with a 4-2-3-1 uh we did we did good in europe we got to the first knockout round with gio so if i did if i got to the first knockout round in europe with gio in champions league with gio but i didn't do it with with bordeaux with so, way way better players then definitely the tactic is not working in europe so we have to go back now we're we're good enough to win the league again with this uh, tactic and we have to um we have to only worry about champions league for so we have one more season i hope next season with this tactic with a 4-2-3-1 i hope we can we can we can win the champions league and hopefully we can get more money to improve the squad in the summer yeah i can i can still have uh, the other tactics you know just to like just to have it ready whenever i feel like i want to use them but the primary tactic is going to be uh the 4231 which like i said we got tested in champions league and is the best so far out of all even uh better than the 424 uh that we were using you know with two strikers and two wingers this one is the best in Europe. So we're going to go back to this. We're going to try to win the league and win the cup to make up for being knocked out from Champions League. So we need two trophies this season. We are in the sem semi-final of the cup. We're six points behind Nice. Let's uh, let's uh, try to uh, to catch up. And then next season, we have to win the Champions League. A lot of pressure on the players. Definitely, it's going to be super hard because we're going to lose a lot of um, key, key players due to... Uh, because they're going back from their loans, they're going back to their teams. We need to find different solutions. But this, the first 11, the starting 11, is very, very, very strong. So this is what I'm hoping that next season... We're, we'll be able to uh, to win the Champions League. Thank you guys for joining today. It's gonna be a two-hour stream, maybe two hours and a half, depending of um, of how um, how busy the stream is. If we're gonna have uh, views or not. If not, then we're gonna keep it at two hours. And later on, uh, I will jump on the Bizarra stream too. I have to go work out for like forty-five minutes, but. After my workout, I'll join Bizarre stream. There's some MLS games today. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. We have to we have to face it. This is the reality, guys. Another season that uh, we failed in Europe. It was really hard hard to take the result at home against uh, Dortmund because the high hopes, you know, we had such a good team. Two days away and then we play Marseille. After Marseille we have four days break and then we play uh, the semi-final, the, uh, the cup semi-final against uh, Lyon. We have so many injuries. God, come on. Rolo injured. Voskanian is back after his long, long-term injury. Tiredness. That's why you need a very, very uh, thick, thick squad. Because we have so many games in a row. Okay, Voskanian, we have to put him on the bench here. Blanco injured. Man. So Farber is going to be an inside forward from now on. Uh, we're training Marks as an inside forward on the left. Definitely, he will uh, he will learn his new position 
probably a few months it's gonna take until he's gonna be on uh, yellow or even light green he already scored um, as an inside forward against Saint Etienne so we're not worried about that by uh, by the time uh, we start the next season everyone is gonna be natural on uh, on their positions let's press continue we have two more days let's hope by the time we uh, start the game against Marseille everyone is, is gonna be rested and fresh so we have one more season at Bordeaux guys I don't know what's gonna happen it's it's so hard to leave this team right now because we built we built a strong squad it's so hard we have one of probably the best midfielder in the world Vlatnik we have the best striker or better best future striker uh, Marx and Nielsen it's just the tactic didn't work didn't work man we have the best probably the best defensive midfielder in the game uh, Blanco this guy is 171 current ability right now Premo, like I said, we loan him for six months now. He has four months left from his loan. He's gonna go back to City. He was a starter for City last season, and even this season, he played 21 games for uh, for City. So I, I was surprised they actually like loaned him to us. So yeah, definitely a disappointment because like definitely I, I I think Dortmund is not even half. Uh, to you know the quality that we are and still they knocked us out and we are, we always do great in the, in a preseason always we always do great like we destroy the big teams and then when we start a new season we start official games we are struggling so the last season at Bordeaux, I will just keep the 4 2 3 1 tactic. We're going to go with this tactic. We're not going to change anything no matter what. And this is going to be the legacy, guys. Probably, you know, just um, two or three league titles at Bordeaux. That's it. Oh my God, another injury here. Done so now. We can't line up our best best 11 because we have so many tired players and injuries. Sehajic is super tired. God. Maybe the tactic, the new tactic um with the volante with the secudo volante is not working for small teams or i have no idea like it's just even the the mezzala one like in europe is not clicking i remember with Gilles petrosani with this tactic uh we played i think in europa league uh we we were down three nothing against Leeds, and we came back and we won four three against Rangers. We lost three nothing in the first leg, and then at home we won four nothing. So this tactic is working in in Europe, and also like I said, we got to the first knockout round in Champions League with Gio. So this this one is tested with small teams and definitely with big teams. Uh, Bestmore with Manchester City won the Champions League, so. Yeah, let's use this one and end our road at Bordeaux, uh, giving us the you know giving ourselves the best chance to to, to win the Champions League. So Lyon beat Monaco five two. Okay, best Murph. We'll be here.
game day almost there And after Lyon, we have Lille at home in two days. Crazy schedule, man. Let's do the training. And also I noticed that with this tactic, the 4231, we have a lot of uh, players training at the highest levels. With uh, the Sekuno Volante tactic and the Metzala one, we barely, barely reached uh, over nine ratings in training most of uh, most of the time we were uh, at 8.9 8.8 so i guess you know makes sense to go back to uh to whatever we know best I hope everyone had a great weekend so far. Welcome back, Best Murph. Alright, uh, let's do Quadio too. It's alright, we have to improve that's all we can do we have to keep fighting for winning that champions league man that's why we broke the bank when we got vlatnik nielsen shooting Agboton, defensive positioning, La Vega, passing. Ball control. All right. So Sehajic very very tired, but we don't have a other left back. Barber very tired. Let's uh, let's play Voskanian. He has great numbers as an inside forward on the right. He's even better than Farber. Let's rest Farber. Blanco tired. Shared is uh not good enough he's just like a b team player that we have to put him on the bench injury for danso la vega backup striker hovsepian shadow striker backup for bagaric so yeah i don't think i showed you yeah this is vlatnik with a new face and the numbers are keep rising now his current ability is 185 unbelievable he will play as a Metzala with support alongside Spremo for this game let's go
Uh, we owe Marseille. I think we lost at home against them in the beginning of the season. And we hope Nice is going to tie or lose so we can catch catch up with them. With this tactic, we used to score a lot of goals, like crazy, crazy. I, I think with Gilles Petrosian, I scored in one game, I scored 11 goals, 1, 11 nothing or something like that in the cup, in the Romanian cup. So with this tactic, you score a lot. It's just, I remember it's not constant in the league. You're struggling, especially when we took over Bordeaux, we were struggling in the league with this tactic. Now the team has to readjust and uh, get used to this tactic again. It's going to take probably four to five games. Same way, um, they won nothing for Marseille. God. The same way when you start the preseason, when you uh, teach the team a new tactic, it's going to take us a little bit. But it's better to do it now. Then just wait until the end of the season. So, yeah, it was an offside. One nothing for the home team. Boscanian, Remo, Breneki. We move Brennicky on the right because he's a right-footed player. Now we're playing with complete wingbacks. We're not playing with in inverted uh, wingbacks. Sehajic looking to pass. Finds Marks. And another counter-attack now for Marseille. Dangerous for Drago. Not the best start. Ah, Petit Jean there. Made a mistake. Ah, oh, man. Voskanian was out with an injury for like almost two months. He just came back. It's understandable if he's not going to have a good game. And also out of form, Nielsen. He didn't score in like five or six games now. And all games 6.4, 6.3. Missed tons of penalties. I don't know what's happening with him. Last season he killed it. This season can't. he can't score. That's why I had to do something. I had to change something. Again, 6.5 rating for Nielsen. I don't know what's what's wrong with him. We're getting dominated by Marseille. I still have the faith that this uh this team can win something big. And 2 nothing, God. That's what I'm saying, man. In the league, this tactic is not working. Can we score one goal before before halftime? 
No, this is the fourth game with this tactic, best Murph. It's just I took a risk to change it because I don't care, to be honest. I don't care if we win the league or not. The, the plan was to win the Champions League. We won the league last season. Now, even if we don't win the league, we're still going to finish top four, I think. We're, we're good enough to finish top four. So, might as well just play this tactic right now and, you know... Um, the players will learn it really, really fast. And then by the time we start the new season, it's going to get natural, you know. God, we're playing horribly. Like, we are really, really struggling. We have strong midfield, but Vlatting is not playing well. Bagaric is really, really bad. Terrible. <sighs> of Sepian. No, La Vega for Bagaric. Petitjan. Uh, yeah, let's take him out. And Marks, 6 3. Huh. Nope, you're gonna stay in. Because we don't have anybody to replace you. And let's overload. Because it doesn't matter anymore. I remember this tactic when you overload is doing wonders. It's really good. <laughs> Mark with a with a sitter but of course he hit the post because he's 6.2 now 6.1 ah it's okay Maybe you can put Farber on the left. Okay, Hajic for... I have nobody. Yep, we don't have anybody to replace Say Hajic, so... Penalty, thank you.
<laughs> this is the third penalty in a row when Nielsen is missing. And he has 14 penalty kicking. I have no idea what's wrong with this guy. Wow. The third in a row. He missed in Champions League 2 against Dortmund. Yep. Third penalty in a row, man. And now we're going to go nine points behind Nice and the title race will be pretty much over. Come on, Nielsen. What are you doing, man? What the hell is wrong with this guy? Get out of here, man. Jesus. Yeah, we have to put him on the bench because he's just horrible. Almost three nothing. We missed a penalty, we hit the post, so still 2 nothing for Marseille, but the score, the, the reality is uh, different. Uh, we should we should have gotten at least a point here. The main reason is that the players are still not used to the, to the tactic. It's understandable. I took the risk to do it in the middle of the season again, and we're gonna pay with uh, losing the league title. But like I said, I don't care too much because we won it last season. Now we need to get this tactic ready for Champions League. We need some some new uh, new players in the in the summer. I don't know how we're going to bring more quality players. I have no idea. We are in debt 40 million. Seventy second minute here, still two nothing for Marseille. I think we deserve at least a goal here. Come on. And this is three nothing now. Bullshit.
waiting for Nice game to see. We're hoping for at least a tie or if they lose, you know. Otherwise, we're going to be nine points behind them. And Spremo got injured for another two weeks. Thank you, game. I love it. Everything goes our way, guys. One of those days, you know. Not enough that we have so many injuries and tired players, but now we're playing Lyon in the semi-final of Cup de France. And then in two days after that, we'll play Lille at home. So. We're getting closer to March 2038 now. So the expectations for this season are challenge for the league title in Champions League be competitive I think we accomplished that in the cup reach semi-final we accomplished that and trophy the champions not important so I guess everything is okay with the board It's very very tempting to leave right now we have nothing to play for until next season so it's so tempting to just give up on Bordeaux <laughs> well we have to stay guys we have to grind it's always difficult when you get knocked out from Champions League because now this is the only fun we have in the Champions League the league is getting boring honestly Yeah, we have to. We have to best Murph. We got one more season to go with this team and then we'll decide what we're gonna do either start a new save with Asane from the beginning from 2021 season or no 2022 because this is FM 23 okay and then uh, other choice is to you know just uh, sign with a different team in the same save so 2039 at the end of 2039 we'll see yeah i know you know <laughs> i know you hate as much as i hate especially when you lose in champions league and nice won at ren so the the title is pretty much theirs unless uh, leon somehow can um can catch up with them otherwise yeah we're way too far it's like nine points so nine points
because we gave uh, the priority to Champions League this season, we kind of neglected the league, and that's why we're in this situation right now, and we have to like hunt and try to hope for for the top teams to to lose or tie or drop points, you know. Last season it was a different story. Last season we won the league because we were only focusing on the on the league. In Champions League, many times we used uh, the backups. And funny thing, last season we got knocked from knocked out from Champions League, same stage and knockout playoff. So this is the sixth season in charge at Bordeaux. Next season will be the seventh and the last. I can't, after that, I can't stay. If we don't win the Champions, I can't stay one more season at Bordeaux. It's going to be hard. In the back of my head, it's going to always be like, oh, you didn't win anything with this team and you keep going. <laughs> so a new challenge may be is more fun, you know. Hey, the Interceptor. Welcome to the stream, man. How are you? See the club atmosphere is very good even though we just lost against Marseille. Sehajic, happy to stab. Or I didn't even know you want to go, man. Really? You're four years and four months left from your contract. Okay, Danso back in the squad. We have to play the starters in both of these two games. We can't we can't bench anyone. It's the semi-final and then we play another tough game against Lille in the league. So if we lose that one too, then yeah, it's like gonna be probably 12 points be, be, you know between us and the first place. So we are forced to play tired players and injured players and gonna be so much fun I wonder if this schedules like the schedules in football manager are the same like in real life like 
games every two days every three days i wonder because this is retarded Come on, Nice. Oh, this is the cup. We, we don't care. I thought it was the league. I hope they're gonna lose in the league two games in a row so we can get closer. Ah, City lost against Barca in the Champions League. Did Jacobe happy to stay? You're happy? Well, sign a new contract then. There you go. Uh, I don't know. Okay, fine. Nope, nothing on signing. I'm gonna give you more on the bonuses. No, man. Five million? Are you crazy? Okay, we'll give you max on this ones. And... After five games for Italy, which you're never gonna get. I keep being an asshole because we're not gonna give you what you want. Yep, top four. That's all we need this season. Best Smurf. It's not gonna make a big difference if you win the league because even second, third, and fourth place are going to the Champions League. So finally, he said yes. So I hope he's not gonna complain anymore. Good. So Nice got out. In the semi-finals, we're gonna play Lens in the final, if we get to the final. If we get past Lyon. Okay, let's see. So Sehajic, he needs a rest. Marks. You know what? I think we should play the B team though in the cup. grow some balls mm -hmm. 
revenge. Let's get our revenge against Le uh, Leon. Second minute of the game. At least we're putting pressure. Nielsen with the free kick. Too soft. Marx, Vladnik, done so for Marx. Come on, done so. God, What the hell is that, dude? Nielsen, one on one chance with the goalie. Nope, he can score, although he has 17 on finishing. Six five Nielsen. It's already two months of the same rating for for uh, for Nielsen. So eight games in a row, he can't score, and he's missing penalties every time when he kicks it. So what the hell is wrong with him? And how can you bench such a player? Because you can't. Your best striker. Brennicky yellow card. Voskanyan. Brennicky. And one nothing La Vega. Let's see if the VAR will cancel it. Okay, it's gonna stand. Blanco for Marx. Come oh, on, Marx. Passing to Danso. Danso for Blanco. Blanco is looking to shoot or pass horrible pass and now counter attack from leon costa don't trip him
Let's score one more before halftime. It was Kanyan. Renicky with the cross. Ah, my Nielsen. Rollo 6 5 and yellow card. Post. Oh, and I forgot to show you. We, uh,. We uh, signed already two new players for the new season, just backups. Right after the game, I'll show you just uh, just deep, deep backups. Nothing, no quality. Uh, one free agent and one. Uh, oh, what a goal by Blanco! Damn. And uh, one of them, I, we paid 1.8 million plus 50% future fee. Uh, is a left back. But let's watch the goal again. Good performance by the players in the first half. Blanco, great goal. A few more games and the tactic will be learned by the players completely. And then we can judge it. Good steal by Vlatnik, Rolo, Danso. What do you mean, best Murph? Hold on the on the whole match. Blanco, what a pass for Marks. Uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the win, um, it's probably already in the bag, Betsmurf. The only problem is the tiredness of the players for the next game, which is important in the league, you know. So let's try here maybe we can make some subs and take out uh, some tired players mm, maybe take out Vlatnik uh, let's take out Nielsen let's you know give them some rest maybe Blanco too for Sehajic Petijan, Ferrer for Brenicky. Oh, no more substitution. Okay, so in the cup you can only do three subs in France. I'm pretty sure. Even uh, with the subs now, uh, we're gonna be able to get the win. Best Murph, you're happy Man United won, huh? Barber, Brennicky, Voskanian, Post, beautiful shot. Yeah. They had a they had a good game. I I've seen the first half. Um, I don't know what's wrong with, uh, with Bruno Fernandes, man. He sucks lately. And his attitude, too. Like, his really, really bad attitude. Always complaining. Like, literally after every challenge, he's complaining.
Oh, big chance for Leon. Brannicky in the box. Try to cross to someone. And now Leon with the possession. 61st minute. Marks for La Vega. Vega back to marks marks for Hovsepian big chance but we missed it might be a goal for them now uh oh Costa yep it's a goal for them what a shot by Costa And now it's a game. 2-1 and anything can happen. Come on boys, let's score one more goal. Pehajic, La Vega. La Vega. Oh god. Serhajic. Twenty more minutes. Serhajic for Danso. Danso on the left. With a cross. And Voskanian. Soft header. Yes, Marks. Ah. What a good first touch and what a poor finishing. We're dominating Leon. It's like 18 to 9 on shots. Come on, steal it. Steal it. Don't lose it. Eh, of course. Brennicky. Now done so. Max marks. Come on, do something. Rolo. Marks again. La Vega. Looking for Farber. Farber one on one chance. And bad angle. But nine more minutes. So tired. Everyone is so tired. Farber, free kick, Rolo. But Dia, safe hands. Come on, guys. Not now. Don't you dare score now. Zacharias and go. 88 minutes.
Thank you, game. Uh. <laughs> he didn't even want to score. He scored with his back. And everyone is on red, super tired. So we all know what's going to happen. We all know what's going to happen. Let's overload. Who cares? I guess this season we're not winning anything. We are doomed this season. La Vega! Too long. The pass was too long. Yes, Farber! La Vega! Score! Come on, boys. You're better than this. They're tired, too. Come on, yes. Fight. Don't tell me we're gonna lose 3 2. Wait for the cross. Picula. Aitekin. Altunai. Or Altunaiji. Yeah, this is just, you know, the last seconds of the game. What the hell are you doing? Yes. Uh, penalties straight. We're going straight to penalties, guys. God, horrible. Uh, of Sepian first. La Vega second. Eric Marks third. Barber fourth. And Voskanyan fifth. I don't care about anybody else. Because we already know we, we're going to lose. Most of the times when I uh, go to penalties, uh, I lose. So. All windows are closed. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, best Smurf, let's go. I actually, I'm rooting against against winning this game now because we have way too many tired players, man. I don't think we can cope uh, with so many, so many games. Uh, like two, every two days we have a game, so I think it's better for us to just play the the league games and just relax, you know. <laughs> Let's lose then. <laughs> and we 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 will lose. Like I said, I I don't remember winning a penalty shootout this uh, this football manager this year. I had a penalty shootout. They went to 23 shots. It was so long. 23 shots, 24 around that number. And nobody's missing so far.
goes Kanyan. This guy is gonna miss watch. Oh, some balls on you. Come on, miss Olise. Come on. <laughs> Almost, Rolo. Brenicky, this guy definitely is gonna lose. I mean, miss, not lose. No, oh my God, he kicked it like a like a great striker. Top right corner. Zacharias. Nobody's missing. Dimitrovich. Nope. 50 penalties. <laughs> We're getting there. Uh, Batsmurf. We're getting there, man. Nobody's missing. We have only great strikers. Each team has the greatest finishers. Tikula, come on. No. Tehajic, just end this nightmare. Come on, miss, whatever. Who cares? Alva. Thank you. Alva missed. And we are going to the final. The final of Cup de France, guys. Congratulations. We have to beat Lille with very, very tired players. Blanco, let's praise him for the goal. <laughs> yeah, at least we're gonna win the cup, Besmurf. And La Vega. Definitely, it's gonna be an easier game than if, if we would have played against Nice. I don't know uh, how Lance pulled that off, but hey, we're happy.
What an unlucky draw we had in Champions League, man. Last season, who we got knocked out by? Uh, this season was Dortmund. Last season... Oh yeah, Milan last season. And we had such a great run in Champions League up until the last two games. We lost last two. We lost... Uh, and we lost that bullshit game against Pauk too. That's why it's so important. This this games, easy games, we need to win them. We lost against Pauk at home. What a bullshit year. I will always remain in uh, in their history, in Bordeaux history, guys. As the coach that lost against Milan with 9-1. <laughs> if we're not winning the Champions League last uh, next season. That's going to be my legacy. Come on. So many tired players now. And one day away. Play Lille at home. Yes, we don't. We don't talk about that at all. <laughs> but it's in the papers. It's in the history books. Best Murph. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Only if we do lobotomy, you know. The, that's the only way you can erase that. We're gonna delete our brains. After Lille, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, seven days. Good. We have a, a week break. And Marseille beats Saint Etienne. So, yeah, we have 11 games left in the league and nine points behind Nice. So, we have to win every game now to hope for the league. To hope to win the league. Can we pull off a winning streak here of 11 games? Yeah, like you can you can recall them if you want. Uh, whatever. They're complaining about the goalie because we're not playing the backup goalie. Of course, we're not playing him. He's just a backup. Marx is slowly learning his new position, which which is great. Hmm. One sixty already per Nielsen. Look at this guy's number, man. Numbers. He he didn't score in like I don't know. Let's see actually. How many games without scoring? So so last game he didn't score. Against Marseille he didn't score. Against Paris Saint-Germain he didn't score. Against Saint-Étienne he didn't score. Against Dortmund he didn't score. Yeah, today is a slow stream. Yep, yeah, I agree, Beth Smurf. Thank you for, for being here, man. <laughs> Otherwise, probably I would... I would finish the stream after half an hour. 
or not even stream, you know. Anessi, let's see. Uh, he didn't score. Oh my god, dude. Against Dortmund at a, uh, away, he didn't score. Strasbourg, he didn't score. Montpellier, he didn't score. Villarreal, he didn't score. Lorient, that's the last game he scored. So that's how many games? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten games without scoring. Oh, you scored a lot. You scored a lot with this tactic, dude. Yes. Uh, let me go back in time. So this is a six season. Five, four, three, two, one. I took charge of Bordeaux in 2032, 2033. This was the first season. So yeah, you are here. Let's see. Betsmurf. Betsmurf, you're at Hanover. They got you from Werder Bremen for 4 million, Betsmurf. Kind of the same skills. 24 years old. You didn't score in the last season for Werder Bremen. 9 goals, 0 goals. 15, 3, 12, 5. You're still in Bundesliga. So... You scored five goals first season with that tactic. Five goals. And then second season you scored two goals. So seven goals total. Because after that I changed the tactic. Man, it's raining outside. I have to go work out. I'll probably go to the gym because I was planning to 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 run outside as you know the the weather is warm but it's it's raining today and then I'll be back and I'll jump on a bizarre stream too Oh, you're leaving Bessemer? Okay. Yeah, man. We'll we'll talk later then. Oh, you're gonna stay here? Okay. I thought you're you're leaving. Twenty eight more minutes and we're done, Bessemer. Twenty eight more minutes. We're gonna be done with this game and then uh, just um, keep pressing continue until we are full. Two hours uh, in the stream and then yeah we're coming back tomorrow hopefully tomorrow we can we can uh, end the season we'll see uh, but yeah let's let's talk a little bit with with per nielsen warren player criticize recent form i don't think you've played as well as you can in recent match you keep working hard to improve all right Wake up, man. We need you. Ivan Ginko. Oh, you were on the GTA st stream? Nice, nice. <laughs> but the best streams are the football manager ones, man. Petijan for Rolo. Farber. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Come on, Bagaric. Don't disappoint me, man. You're 
like 160 current ability awesome come on play like it done so say hashish super tired done so very tired too Vega Clodon Fremo. Yeah. Let's check the training levels if we can. Yes, we can. What song is this, by the way? I chose this kind of music because I uh, I am pissed off with whatever happened in uh, in my save in Champions League, so I don't want to hear any loud music. It's gonna irritate me. They lost at odd. Uh, I'm sorry, man. This is the second game of the season, so. okay they can come back the time is young man it's only the second game next game probably they play at home you know still need like four or five games to to get uh, in the best shape Yeah, that was hard. Odd is always hard. Even in the game, if you look at the team, uh, is always in. Uh, if you go deeper into saves, they're uh, becoming better and better. So I think they have a a good chairman that pumps money into the team. Okay, let's start the last game of the stream, guys. Let's hope to uh, to win it. We're gonna start with Nielsen, Marx, Bagaric, Voskanian, Blanco, Vlatnik, Breneki, Dimitrovic, Petitjan, Danso, and Dijakove. Most of the players are tired, but we can't risk anything. Uh, we need to get the three points. I hope we're gonna finish the stream with a win. I hate, I hate losing the last game. Come on, boys. Then we have a break of seven days, so you can you can rest. Let's find the energy. Vlatnik, Voskanian. Good pass for Danso on the left. Blanco. Back to Danso. Blanco for Marx. That's inside. Blocked shot. Nothing comes out of it. Come on, Bagaric. Yes, Blanco. Good anticipation by our Mexican deep line playmaker. Vlatnik, penalty? No, we're good. All right. Brenneke. Vlatnik marked. Not a block shot.
Brenicky and Golazzo. What a cross by Brenicky and Marks, who is 198 CM and 18 jumping reach. Crazy, crazy finish. Let's watch the goal again. Oh my god. No chance for the goalie. Bagaric. The hell. The Jacobe save hands. I don't care how we win, but we need to win. Marks. Penalty? Thank you. He pushed him right in the box. No questions about it. Don't even check it. Don't have to. Dude, 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 look at this guy. Fourth penalty in a row. Fourth penalty in a row that he missed. Something is happening with this dude. Unbelievable. I never had a striker missing four penalties in a row. And he's finishing, I mean, his penalty taking is 14. Yeah, I, I have to. No more penalties for this guy. Unbelievable. His confidence is probably so low. But he didn't score in 10 games. That's more than 2 months. More than 2 months. As a striker, you can't do that. Especially with his skills. God. He is very dry lately. Voskanian. Come on, another cross here. Brenicky. Ah, he has uh, 14 on or on crossing. Brenicky is awesome on crosses. Love it. Before he was scoring like a machine. Nielsen was a goal scoring machine before. Last season he scored. Only in the league, 29 goals. Danso, Nielsen, come on, dude. This is just retarded right now. Bagaric with the free kick.
<laughs> yeah, he's like pixel after we sold him. <laughs> yes. Pixel. I don't know what happened to Pixel when he went to Monterrey. Because he went back to Monterrey. And they didn't even register him. Not only that he didn't score, but... They didn't even put him on the squad. Come on. Poor Pixel. We tried to revive his career, but even when he came back, he was not the same. And that season when he scored 26 goals in the league, that was just insane. I remember he had, in one game, he had six goals. Voskanian, offside. <laughs> and don't worry, because he didn't even score again. He missed. But yeah, we have to take him out. 6-1 rating for Nielsen. 6-1. Unbelievable. Another game when he has 6-1 rating. And that's why we have Farber on the bench. Bagaric, come on. Just one second, guys. And please, what the hell is with this song? Oh, thank you. Should we stick with Nielsen? Should we keep our faith in Nielsen? If we bench him again, he's he's definitely gonna get, you know, his confidence is gonna go even lower. We need to revive him somehow. Nielsen. This is the game when you're gonna score. Come on. Nielsen, come on. In the box. Tries to cross and marks. Poor finishing. Bagar is 6 5. Since we changed the tactic, Nielsen is horrible and Bagaric also. Every game, poor rating. Brennick yellow card. Petijan yellow card. This is what tiredness do to some of the players. Uh, Nielsen, yes! Finally! After 10 games without scoring, he finally put one in the net. Congratulations, man.
finally. After missing a penalty and having a 6.1 rating. He is back. Do nothing. The team is starting to play better and better with this tactic. We need to keep in mind that the players are tired right now and we're still winning. We started the game with tired legs. Okay, Marks Blanco. Let's score one more. Can we score one more? Enough is enough. Let's do some subs. We don't want to get injuries. So let's do Rolo for Dimitrovic. Uh, Sehajic for Danso. Voskanian. We're going to do Farber for Voskanian. And for Brenicki, we'll do Scherer. Although this guy is really shitty. Like his skills are very, very shitty. Uh Marks. We're gonna leave Marks in. And Bagarish, we're gonna leave him in too. Yes, the definitely best Marvi takes way more time when you suddenly change a tactic mid-season. And also, you kind of disrupt the team fluidity and you annoy the players sometimes with uh, with this change. And 2-1. Immediately after we did the subs, Lille is scoring and it's a game now. Citerio with a pass for Cristiano. Crescenciano and back to Citerio who puts it in now 20 minutes left it's a game now Yes, Petijan. What a what a run for Petijan! Passing to Bagaric. And Bagaric cannot find a way to score. Always he gets blocked or he misspasses. Herrer. Ah, what the hell was that? Why you didn't shoot? Blanco, Vlatnik, Vlatnik, he didn't score any goal since he arrived at Bordeaux, I don't know how long it's gonna take him to score, oh oh, let's see this corner kick, dangerous corner kick for Lille, hold your horses, Oh my god, dude. Campa Badal and Marks there. Alright, um, let's take out Bagaric. Such a disappointment, Bagaric, lately. And put in um, La Vega.
Eight more minutes. Vlatnik. Bagaric. To no one. I guess the, the sub didn't kick in yet. Petijan. Great anticipation. Marks now losing the ball. This is their chance and it might be a goal. It might be a goal, guys. Yep. Ah. DJ Kobe with a huge save. Jeez. Almost, he almost fucked it up. Sorry for the language. But Di Jacobe, he almost fucked it up really, really bad for us. That could have been the end of our season if if from that mistake they would have scored. Nielsen with the free kick. Last last two minutes and a half here. Come on, let's hold. Good cross for Farber. He's too short. And now uh, a corner kick. Never mind. It was a goal kick. Maybe the last highlight of the game. Vlatnik is uh, winning the possession. We're getting closer to winning the three points here. Vital three points. Scherer. Petitjan. Oh, God. Come on. Offside. Thank you. Yes, go ahead. Yes. Thank you. Marks. That's inside. A few minutes. I mean, a few minutes. A few seconds. And we won. With a lot of tired players, we managed to get the three points. Now, let's hope Nice is it gonna drop some ground do the press conference and we're gonna end the stream guys we have one week break yeah we need it we need it so bad for our confidence you know all right um tomorrow we will be back guys with a new stream uh probably it's gonna be same time if anything changes i will let you know on discord i appreciate you being here Bessmer, thank you man thank you for joining today and uh probably i'll see you later on bizarra's uh stream enjoy the rest of the day guys and uh take care Bye-bye.